Hello my friends and welcome back and welcome to a vlog. Uh, I have a day off so I thought it was a good idea to spend it with you. I'm going to start the day with a bit of energy. I think I need, um, I need something to eat and since I need to go to the um, supermarket it's on the list for today. Uh, I'm just going to make myself a protein drink and have that. I think I've still got some frozen strawberries to give my protein drinks a bit of flavour. And yeah, after that I've got a long list of things I need to do today or would like to do today. And you know, I suppose first things first, shouldn't it be? Though, because, you know, it is Christmas time. So let's do first things first, you know me. Um, hey Google, turn on the Christmas tree. Sure, turning Christmas tree on. Okay, whoops, no light. This is going to be a vlog, I tell you. It'll just be as it comes today. Um, yes, yeah, so Christmas tree is on. I need to put on a few more lights, even though it's summertime here and it's actually a reasonably nice day. It's not particularly warm, hence I am still in, this is a very lightweight um, turtleneck, but yeah, I know, it's, <laughs> it's a bit sad here in Melbourne at the moment. We're not getting a lot of uh, summertime. But hopefully, around Christmas, it will change. Anyway, I'm just going to put on some more lights and we'll start the day. This one is a cutie. I do love this little tree. It's, um, it, it is on a timer, which is good. So I think it goes for eight hours. But it's just too cute for words. I actually have to have the lights on, which is crazy. Because it's not actually that bad a day. But it's about, um, it's about ten o'clock. And I'm just going to make a smoothie, have that, maybe have a coffee, and then go out. There you are. Isn't it the most deliciously pink drink ever? Yum. I'm going to have this and do some thinking. This is one of my old recipe books. I mean, it's still got some gaps in it. There's still room to add more, but it's great for when I... Honestly, um, I'm just blank about food at the moment. I think I've been so busy. And, um, and just sort of coming home and eating whatever was in the refrigerator and going to... well pretending to watch some television and going to sleep. That's been my life for a little while, so a shopping list is definitely needed. Yes, I'm back and in the same position with a different drink. And it's really too late for me to have this. It's four o'clock. I have been out and uh, just doing boring things that uh, I thought, you know, hey, I'll take you along, take you shopping in Australia. <laughs> it's madness out there, folks. It's absolutely chaotic. Um, I mean, I'd say it's like Christmas, but, you know, because it is, it is actually like Christmas. Um, mainly just that we're not used to, I'm not used to all the traffic uh, because we haven't had it for a long time, really. And even though... No, uh, we're still in the same situation one way or the other. People have just decided to get on with it, I think. But the traffic's back. Every road has roadworks on it uh, and it's driving everybody nuts. So, yes, um, you know, it, something that would normally take me a 20-minute drive took me just over an hour to get home. <laughs> but I have put away everything into the fridge and I really, you know, it, it is clean, it's tight, that's, that's probably the most organised part of my entire life at the moment is at least I have food in the fridge, which is a good start. I mean, I've just been so busy and, you know, the, the thing I like to do least is to go to the supermarket and buy food. So that just gets pushed out and out and out until I really am scraping the bottom of the pantry and the freezer and the refrigerator. So yeah, that's done at least. Um, I have a great stack of things I need to record in my budget uh, book because I do have a budget journal. That's how I record my life, basically. Um, and I also, as you, um, many of you will know, hang on, oops, reaching across, I do 
also have my bullet journal and every now and again I promise that I'm going to show you the setup which is boringly similar year to year year on end I've been doing this for years and somebody said to me because I had them I have a I have a stack of them going back you know probably six years or something and somebody said oh you shouldn't keep your you know your diaries and I think no it's not a diary it's all sorts of things it's the books I've read it's the books I want to read it's movies it's ideas and thoughts jotted down on different pages as well plus I can look back and see um, when I had my blood work done what the results were um, you know those sorts of recorded over years things this is not a dear diary diary this is a bullet journal that just records you know what I do on a day-to-day -day basis what my weight is all of that boring stuff and um, yeah it's it's actually sometimes it's handy to be able to grab something and look back and say look you know two years ago something was at such and such and it's changed um, or I you know what are some good books to read that I somebody re recommended last year and so um, and I put them down there and I don't want to just throw those away because I'm not going to transcribe them year by year uh -uh, it's not going to happen um, and I don't think I've made my 100 books in the year this year I probably did last the last couple of years but <laughs> we were locked down for a lot of that and there wasn't a lot more to do than read well you know, a few other things but reading certainly was part of it so this year I probably I'll have to go back and look at the first one, but I think I've read about 40 in the last six months and probably about the same. So maybe about 80 this year. Um, some of it's just pure junk, which is fine. Uh, some of them have been the you know, really great discoveries and, and books that I will want to read over and over again. And that's always a good thing to find. Okay, time for my coffee. The thing I will do now, I'm pretty sure, I think, because one of the things I went out to buy were pecans, because I want to make pecan puffs because they are a lovely Christmassy um, little treat to have for myself, to give to friends and family. Uh, and yeah, it's, it is the easiest recipe ever. I'm sure I've made it with you before, but since I'm going to be making it, you will have to come along. So here we go. This is my pecan puff recipe. Well, it's not my pecan puff recipe. It is a pecan puff recipe. And this year I'm not going to make uh, the full batch. I'm going to halve it and then I can make fresh again a bit later on when I've given all of these away or and or eaten them. So we start with one cup of pecans. Just um, absolute. These are just normal pecans. You can buy them at the supermarket. Haven't done anything special to them. And in they go. You will need a food processor, so beg, borrow, steal one, uh, if you don't have one that is, and um, because it really can't be done, I don't think it could be done any other way. I'm sure somebody has done it another way, but I can't see it. Helps if I turn it on, doesn't it? Now, the idea is to process it until it's, I don't know, it's almost like sand. It's virtually pecan butter, I suppose. Um, it's still got a little bit of texture to it. It isn't completely smooth. Then I'm adding 125 grams of butter, because yes, this is a butter cookie, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. The brown sugar gives it a lovely sort of caramelly flavour. Clean the sides so that everything's getting process to the same degree and you want to make it so it's really really light and creamy. Now the next step is to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So in it goes. And you know clean fingers are a cook's best friend so yes I am going to use my fingers and go and wash them again but I am not wasting any of that delicious vanilla and now I'm going to add one cup of flour just plain all-purpose flour not the self-raising type right now all of that flour is blended in but it's still very very soft so the next step is to wrap it in some plastic wrap but I prefer just to use uh, kitchen paper and let it just sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour and you can see why see it's it's um it's not quite liquid but it nearly is it's just so so soft 
let's just revise that, shall we? I've just remembered, you know when you're doing something, you don't, I mean, normally I would wrap something like a pastry in a kitchen paper. But this, this is definitely too soft and you have to put it in a bowl. I remember that now, which is a bit, a bit messy, but there we are, look, you know, this is real life. So there we are. Now that goes in the refrigerator for about an hour. Well, it's been about an hour and yes, I think this will be fine. It's able to be handled, well, not handled, but scooped. I've just put the oven on so you can hear it, it uh, for 150 Celsius. Let's get this scooped and I'm just going to put them onto this. It's a silicon um, tray liner, so um, don't have to use baking paper. Well, there you go. I got 16 out of that, and so the normal batch is what 32. Now I'm just going to pop them in the oven and bake them for about 40 minutes, very slowly. Well, here we go. They are out of the oven. Um, they're a tiny bit brown. I confess it's always good to have a first run, isn't it? Just to remind you self of what you need to do. So this was 40 minutes. Maybe it should have been 30. Um, at 50 degrees in, uh, Celsius and but in here I have got icing sugar it's my little icing sugar duster and I've just filled it up and this is when they're hot and they're still just out of the oven you can hear my oven fan is still on as it cools down then you dust them with icing sugar and you do it when they're hot you also do it a bit when they're cold now to be fair most of the sugar in these um, little biscuits is right going on now this is the i mean there was two there were uh, there was only two tablespoons of brown sugar in there now it wasn't cut loads so um it's mostly a nut and butter cookie but at this point you just sort of get it onto them and it sticks and melts into them slightly to make them into little snowballs albeit slightly flat ones and they are a little brown but the next batch won't be. The next batch, I will remember that they need to come out a little earlier or maybe the butter was just uh, a little too soft and I needed to add a little bit more flour. You know, all of the things that you do in the second batch. Um, and yes, you do put the rack on top of some kitchen paper because it makes a terrible mess otherwise to clean up. And for now, that's fine. Now, of course, it wouldn't be any fun baking cookies if you didn't at least taste some of them. Mmm. Mmm. Now, even though I said it's a little over, you know, slightly browner than I like and slightly flatter than I like, it is still completely delicious. How could it not be? It's basically pecans and butter and vanilla tied together with a tiny bit of flour and a little bit of sugar with more sugar on top um so overall it's not hugely sugary it's mostly a nut and butter cookie and it's beautiful so i hope you'll try them and um i might make some more along the way and show you what they're actually meant to look like which is sort of a little bit more like a snowball but man they are seriously good try them share them with your friends have a bit of fun and i hope that you'll come back and join me and we'll make some more things in the lead up to christmas i'll see you then bye